Greetings, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me today. I have been so over the moon excited about this video, you guys. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how I manifest during full moon and new moon. Of course, I will be making a separate video going into the moon phases and how I manifest with them. But today, I just put together a simple manifestation routine for those of you who don't usually have the tools that you need. It's very simple. I'm going to leave everything you need down in the description box below, as well as how I make my full moon water and my spiritual bath video. So if you'd like to check that out, please look in the description box below. As for that, before I get on with rambling, I'm just going to get straight into the video for you guys. So if you're interested, please keep watching. So, I'm sure that we can all agree that throughout the day we've experienced absorbing unwanted energies from the strangers we surround ourselves with. On day of manifestation, I like to make sure that both my mind and body are completely cleared to leave room for intention setting. So, to the spell of negative energy that I've absorbed, I basically like to take this affirmation soap that is specifically formulated for my solar plexus chakra. I received this about a month ago and it's been working wonders. It consists of a lot of ingredients that hold metaphysical properties for healing and whatnot. So, what I like to do is get in the shower and I will take the affirmation from the card and read it out loud, which of course you can read it in your head. It's all about personal preference. And then I like to close my eyes and meditate on it for a second. From there, I just pretty much completely saturate my body, close my eyes, and then imagine myself washing away all negative energies. When setting intentions, it's extremely important to have a clear mind and a very clear thought process, which of course, if you can't get yourself to clear your mind, there are plenty of ways that you can do so. You can go on a walk, maybe allow yourself to watch a show or something or read a book that'll calm your mind a bit. But what I like to do is meditation as you can see meditation allows me to stop and think and focus on my breath which allows me to clear my mind and my thoughts do make sure that you of course are in a very quiet area while doing so and from there just allow yourself to think on what it is you want to manifest manifestation is like a period of catharsis for me i look at it as a time to release all suppressed energy anything that may possibly be keeping me stagnant so i'm super picky about energy when it comes to my manifestation area, I like to make sure that I fully cleanse it with homemade rose water to make sure that I'm getting rid of any possible past negative residue from any energies or anything from before. You just want to make sure that you clear out your space completely so that you can feel at ease while you're manifesting. This next step is very, very important and is all about intention. Now, what I am doing here is writing out a list of things that I'd like to release into the universe or to source. Basically, what you want to do is take a piece of paper and a pencil or pen, anything works, but write down anything that comes to mind in this time of manifestation. Anything that you may have meditated on, anything that you may have pretty much focused your intent into, you'll completely 100% want to focus that into your writing. Basically, take your thoughts and think of them as coming straight out of your mind through your pencil and onto the paper. You're going to want to think as hard as possible on this and sort of just let yourself release everything that you can. This time can be so important because we're stripping away everything that it is that no longer serves us and then sort of releasing an idea of what it is we'd like to manifest. So after writing out this list, just make sure that you have the purest intent and that everything you have been working hard for is pretty much all focused in your mind so that you can bring it to life. After writing out our list of intentions, we're going to be taking anything we want to be anointing our candle. I'm taking my orange oil specifically for abundance, and then I'm going to be completely saturating my candle, which I specifically chose a blue candle because it's very good for vision and direction and guidance. After anointing our candle, you're going to want to take a burn safe dish and you're going to want to take your piece of paper, the list you wrote down, and fold it up completely so that you can burn it away with the intent of handing it off and surrendering it all to the universe. This is a time of completely surrendering and trusting everything within Source, and that Source will bring back everything that you're looking to manifest to you. So it's very important. You can surround your area with crystals, anything to help boost of course, I have my orange oil again for abundance and my blue candle for direction and guidance to bring everything that I'm looking to manifest to life. Do make sure that you are completely meditating and focusing your intent during this time. This, of course, is for example, 
just to show you guys obviously how I do it, but during this time, it's very, very sacred to me. At this time, after you've lit your candle, it is important that you keep an eye on it constantly because you want to let your candle burn all the way down until there's nothing left. That is 100% how you complete your manifestation ritual. You don't want to leave any trace of the candle. You literally want to let it burn to the very last bit. Basically, what I do is poke my head in every now and then and check on it. Of course, have it in an area that's safe for having a candle lit on its own, but... Yeah, you just want to let it burn down to the very last bit, and then from there, what I did was used my moon water, just dropped a few drops on top of the flame to put it out and seal off the intention. Now, if you don't know how to make full moon water, I'm going to be leaving the video on how I do it in the description box below, as well as the video on how I do my spiritual bath and why, to explain why I like to take a spiritual shower before I do my manifestation. So if you're interested, of course, that'll be down below for you guys. All right, you guys, so that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope that was enough information for you guys to get together your own manifestation routine. You can do whatever you want with this. Of course, it doesn't have to be just like mine. Everyone's intent is different, so add what you like, take away what you'd like. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, and peace and love, man.